love my job. How many of you can drive to work every day and say the same thing? What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited for this video because I've been wanting to tell you this story for a couple of months now. You probably remember that I told you when I started doing these vlogs, if you sent me a hat, I'll wear it in one of my videos and give you a shout out. So I reached out to my buddy Denise and specifically asked her for some General Motors swag. Now she would have sent me a care package anyways because she's awesome like that and she did last time, but I specifically asked for the swag so it could help facilitate telling you this story. Now before I get into how our friendship came to be, I wanted to go over the stuff that she sent me because um, all of the stuff in the box was really on point for this time of year. Now when this package arrived, it was right at the beginning of the wet season, so all the mosquitoes were starting to lay eggs and grow, which Holy smokes, I don't know how mosquitoes grow in places where there's no water. Baffles me. But uh, she sent some, some natural um, insect repellent, which worked out well. And then for the, for the times the mosquitoes got through anyway, some lavender to put on the bug bites that were atrocious. I have some new scars that I wish I didn't have. Uh, some homemade wild orange soap. Two bars, one of them's already gone. This is actually really good stuff. And then you might remember early on when I was having some, the meals were like really bland. She um, she smoked some salt for me that, uh, uh, that you could put on. I like to put on uh, fish in particular, sometimes some chicken. Um, don't need very much, it's pretty strong. Good, just potent. And then um, some hand sanitizer that I keep in my in my bag uh, on the long flights and stuff. Some awesome socks, some General Motors socks. And then obviously the Cadillac hat that I'm wearing. And then last thing, this book by um, Admiral McRaven. So I think, I think this one's really interesting because uh, it's called Make Your Bed. And uh, what I find ironic about this is that my mom told me to make my bed for almost two decades and I never listened and now all of a sudden this guy's making a ton of money writing books about making your bed but uh, no the point of it so it's, it's actually a real short read you see it's pretty small um, it, it's a s book of all the stories of this man uh, and some of the lessons he learned while working with the seals and stuff but the point is that you can make a difference in your life or, your, or the world uh, by having small victories and the first victory of the day is to make your bed and then you tackle another victory another victory so rather than having these huge goals that are hard to meet just accomplish small things throughout the day and they end up turning into huge accomplishments so all of this stuff goes to show that even after being apart for almost a decade she still knows me really well and uh that just goes to show how strong our friendship is and I wanted to share it with you. So I met Denise back in 2010 when I was working at General Motors. Now, there's a very key distinction here. When people ask me what I used to do, I always told them, hey, I worked at GM. And it's kind of deceiving because yes, I worked at GM, I didn't work for GM. And uh, I was kind of embarrassed uh, with the job that I had. I was working private security and now that I have grown a few years and like to think I'm a little bit wiser, I realize now that it's really not that big of a deal. Now that job wasn't a very good fit for me, but ultimately um, it's a job that needs to be done and uh, it, it definitely has its place and its benefits and it is, it is important. So while I was working there, I met with Denise and it, be, it started out as a business relationship. I'd go to her and say, hey, these, these are some of the issues I'm having with your employees. These are the steps I'm taking to make it better. Do you have any feedback uh, on how we can come together? And I think over time she realized that, at least I, I hope she realized that I have an interest of working with people, coming to that level ground so that we can have a common goal and move forward and be better uh, and make the company better. So when she saw that, she brought me on kind of as a, a protege 
and I naturally cling to her uh, as my mentor and ultimately she started sharing her corporate knowledge with me, life experiences with me to help me grow as a person. And over time I was there, I think I think I worked there almost almost two years, a little over two years, something like that. And over time of working with each other and helping me grow, she offered me a job uh, working for General Motors. And unfortunately, I'm, I was extremely flattered. But what I explained to her is that, you know, I had a commitment to uh, going to the service and this is something that I want to do. And uh, I turned it down and, and I'd be lying if I didn't often think of uh, what my life could have been or would have been if I if I worked for a company. I mean, GM is a is a great American company. It's been around for a long time, and they continue to innovate so that they will be a long, be around for even longer. Uh, but ultimately, I turned it down, and here I am doing what I love to do. She doesn't work at that location anymore, and we haven't seen each other for years. But we still have a great connection, a great friendship. I'm thankful for our friendship and I'm thankful for the positive life experiences that that I've had uh, and that I get to share with you guys. So that's it. I'm glad I got to share that with you. If you if there are anything, any other stories you guys want to hear, just comment down below um, and I will be open to sharing those with you. Thanks for stopping by, guys. See you.